Wednesday morning, guys. Hope all is well with you and your world. It is all well here at Enough Said Sports. We hit on the NBA parlay of the day yesterday. We had the Clippers minus, uh, excuse me, the Clippers plus four last night. We had them over 220.5. We had the Philadelphia 76ers minus six, and we had them under 223.5. We barely made it on the Clippers game on both ends, but we did it. So uh, the only thing that we didn't hit yesterday was the Clippers winning straight up, but uh, it was not included in our parlay. So uh, we did hit on the NBA parlay of the day. So that's a great, uh, great job by everybody. Very fortunate to be able to do that. So it's a good, good morning here at Enough Said Sports. I want to talk to you about one of the matchups from last night. It's going to be the Philadelphia 76ers and the Atlanta Hawks. This is end up. This is going to end up being a preview video for Game Three. That's coming on June 11th at 7:30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I believe it's on TNT, uh, and it's going to be Game Three from there from Atlanta. The uh, the Hawks are two point underdogs there at home. Now about last night, so let's rewind and go back. Um, I don't like saying it too often because. Uh, uh, betting and, and uh, sports gambling has a way of humbling you, but I'm going to say it. I told you so. I told you that the Philadelphia 76ers were a lot better than this Atlanta Hawks team. I told you that Trey Young's impression of Michael Jeffrey Jordan was not uh, real. I told you that the Philadelphia 76ers would turn up the intensity on defense, and they did just that, and they blew the blew the Atlanta Hawks off the floor last night. Uh, the Hawks really kept this game closer than it should have been. There was uh, several different times where the, the Philadelphia 76ers hit them with huge runs. And uh, much to the Hawks' credit, they fought back. But a lot of that was because the Hawks' bench played unbelievably well. Uh, Got to give them a lot of credit coming off the bench there. I'm going to butcher his name, but uh, number three for the Atlanta Hawks, Berger, I believe is what his name is, a herter. Something, something along those lines. I apologize for not being able to pronounce his name properly, but he played unbelievably well off the bench there for him. Uh, Sweet Lou played pretty good off the bench for him. They just had a lot of lot of great uh, bench play uh, overall, and I was really impressed with what they did that what they did there. Uh, Philadelphia's bench in the first half was non-existent. Uh, matter of fact, I don't even think they scored a point. Uh, I believe Atlanta Atlanta's bench in the first half scored 32 to. Uh, Philadelphia, excuse me, Philadelphia zero. So that was a huge difference in the game, I thought, uh, in the first half. But then, the, then late in the third quarter, Philadelphia's bench woke up and uh, led by Shake Milton. Uh, he did an unbelievable job. He went crazy, uh, channeled his inner Steph Curry, um, and uh, did his thing and and uh, made it put a huge run on the Atlanta Hawks and buried them. They're late in the third and early in the fourth, and they never really recovered from it. Uh, so, I mean, it, it's just – it's really quite simple. I thought that the the 76ers did a much better job, which I s- suspected that they would uh, because I think the Hawks got their attention, uh, did a much better job on Trey Young. Uh, the Atlanta really relies on Trey Young getting into the painted area. Atlanta's got a lot of great shooters on, on their team, and – uh, but for the most part, unfortunately, they're spot-up shooters with the exception of Trey Young, uh, who is really the only creator on this team outside of Sweet Lou Williams coming off the bench. Um, you know, they, they really need Trey Young to get into that painted area and kind of uh, make the defense rotate and then swing the ball around and, and find that open shot uh, for themselves. And if they're not doing that, it's really hard for them on offense. I thought – Danilo Gallinari played unbelievably well last night uh, on top of everything off the bench for Atlanta. I think you got a a game out of him that you probably won't see again, Uh, but he played well. You got to give him credit. Um, And overall, you know, if it had not been for Gallinari Gallinari and uh, the the other kid, I can't pronounce his name, number three off the bench for Atlanta, then, you know, they wouldn't even have been this close in the game. Uh, and unfortunately for Atlanta, I believe Philadelphia can play even better offensively than they played. Um, I thought they had some really good efficiency at times, and I also thought they kind of let Atlanta off the hook a lot of times when they could have went ahead and driven driven into the painted area uh, and really made life difficult for the Atlanta Hawks last night. Uh, and when they did that, when they drove to the rim and they were aggressive, uh, it caused – either them to score at the rim or be able to kick the ball back out for an open three. 
Uh, Seth Curry feasted on him, went five for six from downtown. Uh, he's a really, really great knockdown shooter, not so much off the dribble like his brother, but he's unbelievably efficient uh, when he's spotted up. So uh, you got to give uh, the Philadelphia 76ers credit. They came out with a lot of defensive intensity, withstood runs from the Atlanta Hawks, uh, and, and punched back. Uh, so you got to give those guys credit. They showed some uh, championship heart last night, but the reality of it is is that they, the Atlanta Hawks are just flat out overmatched in this contest, uh, and I think that's going to continue on in game three here. Now you've got uh, – f- uh, fast forwarding into game three, you've got uh, the Atlanta Hawks two-point dogs at home. Uh, it's not enough. Um, I believe that Philadelphia is going to win this game by 10-plus points again, um, probably by 15 uh, they're just that much better than Atlanta. Now, with that being said, I got the Philadelphia 76ers minus two, but I actually have the uh, over in this contest, over 223 and a half, because I do believe the Atlanta Hawks will shoot better than they did overall uh, as a team, not necessarily individual performances. I think Trey Young's going to play better in game three. I think that uh, he'll shoot it a little bit better. I think the role players will also shoot it a little bit better uh, around Trey Young uh, because, you know, uh, when you're at home, the role players tend to play a lot better for whatever reason. So I expect that. But I also expect the Philadelphia 76ers to score a buttload of points in this contest. I think this thing goes way over. Uh, We were very, very fortunate last night to hit the under. It looked like it was trending over, uh, and then uh, Philadelphia put the brakes on in the fourth quarter and shut Atlanta completely down. So uh, that made all the difference in the world, and so uh, we ended up hitting that. Um, We got fortunate to hit that. So I'm going to flip-flop, go over here. Uh, So to recap, I've got Philadelphia minus two, and I've got the over 223.5 in this next contest on June 11th at 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, game three. Thanks, guys, for watching. Let me know in the comments uh, what your thoughts were on this game. Uh, Thank you so much for all your support. It means a ton to me. We're doing a lot of new things here at Enough Said Sports. You're going to see some some upgrades here, um, getting getting the support that we need now to uh, kind of expand a little bit uh, and improve things here on the channel. So really appreciate it. Uh, We'll be coming. um, I'm on Twitter uh, right now, but uh, we're going to – Uh, get an official Enough Said Sports Twitter account going uh, so that we can um, give you some live alerts, live bets during the games uh, as they play out that you might be able to take advantage of as well. Uh, But when I get that up and running, I'll let you guys know. uh, And I'll uh, also make sure I share those things in the description uh, once we get all that up and running. So thank you so much. Again, appreciate all the support. means a lot. And, uh, hey, you know, have a great Wednesday. And, um, hey, there's two, a couple games on tonight, or excuse me, one game on tonight. The Denver Nuggets going up against uh, the Phoenix Suns. I already did a preview video for game two of that series. Go down there, check that out. Uh, definitely take advantage of that. Get your money, get paid, because uh, we, we all got paid last night, that's for sure. So I hope you guys got to participate in that. You have a great and wonderful Wednesday. Thanks.